How do you do? <laughs> in 1940, I received the most cunningly worded invitation to join the army. Uh, uh, at, the, at the bottom of this illuminating address was the letters RSVP. Regimentum Soldare Vaccinati Pandemonium. <laughs> which being translated into the old Greek means, if you don't turn up, it will be just too bad. <laughs> Two weeks after receiving this letter, I was released from a nursing home where I'd been treated for severe shock. <laughs> I made my way to the nearest station. I was just going to get into a carriage, and a woman leaned out and said, I wouldn't come in here far with you. These three nipples of mine want you to see here are all contaminated. Little Roderick there's got measles, little Mari Louise in the middle there's got mumps, and little Nobby's got pneumonia. I said, I don't give a damn, I've just got my calling out papers, and when we get to the next tunnel, I'm going to cut the ruddy throat. Oh, owing to, the, owing to the fact that there were no tunnels, I arrived by destination, and never shall I forget that first day in the army. <laughs> Easy to laugh now. Mm, yes. In this camp, we weren't awakened in the usual manner. The colonel used to wander around, waking us from our slumbers with a delicious rendering of that bad, uh, sad ballad, Mid Pleasures and Pariat. <laughs> uh, after a hot bath and a brisk rub down with a sandbag, I, um, I, I trickled downstairs to breakfast, after which I complimented the chef on his devilish ingenuity. Uh, then a little man asked us if he'd like to go on to the parade ground and, I hadn't got anything better to do, so I thought I'd go. <laughs> Wandered out and found ourselves confronted by a man whom I took to his body's car off. <laughs> Turned out to be a sergeant major. Um, Wandered up to me and said, what's your number? So I said, Kensington, 0576. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this uh, seemed to displease him, rather, because he answered in a, a language that I'd never heard before. I <laughs> since discovered that it was army basic English. Uh, very, very easy language to pick up it consists practically of one word. <laughs> well, later, later on that day, later on that day, I was reclining on the grassy sward beside the playground, toying idly with the goldfish in the fountain. <laughs> this camp was built by Horbalisha. And when up Amble Sergeant, he said to me and my newly found colleague, all right, this area, which, as a lot of you will know, means in pure English, get fell in. <laughs> so we all more or less fell in, and this sergeant says, now then, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to segregate you. Now, <laughs> he said, uh, now, get fell out there, all those men, what have had a college or other sort of la-di-da education. All right. <laughs> Get segregated. And all those men stood out. Then he turned to the remaining blokes and he said, Now, nah, you've had a good, sensible education. I'll tell you what you're going to do. See there, up over there, that's the cooker. Get scrubby. <laughs> then you'll find a lot of sparks. All right, bash them. <laughs> he then turned to the college types and said, As for you, you ignorant shower, you, <laughs> you go along with them and learn how the job should be done. <laughs> 